That's the coolest openers to have, man. I'd like to Angel Come as in Seaman. That was a good song. <laughs> Angel Come as in Seaman is a good song. It reminded me of this girl I knew in high school named Edith Seaman. That's true. <laughs> And uh, I don't know where Edith Seaman is now. I don't know what she's up to or what she's been up to. I hope living under a new name. Uh, you know, God forbid she lived up to it. Eating all that semen. That's what I'm trying to say. Her mom named her after eating cum. And you expect your daughter to not eat cum? Like, let them eat cum. You know? Come all your daughters and eat your father's cum. I don't know. Jesus. Yeah, Jesus is also involved somehow. You know? <laughs> I don't know, man. I didn't write the Bible. She gave her daughter a fucking biblical name, Edith. And then they were like, we also have the last name Semen. That doesn't mean anything. Like, that's, how, how, that's how you know when Christian is too... When, when religion is too retarded. Let's just put it that way. When religion is too retarded, you name your daughter Edith Semen. That's when you're too deep. All right? When you don't know what those words mean because you've never sucked your husband's dick before, I don't know, like, <laughs> you wouldn't have a fucking daughter, would you, to name her Edith Seaman, and that a name so embarrassing that she gets bullied at an art school. At an art school. I went to a fucking art school. We have gay bullies there. That's how crazy art school was. They were gay bullies. Do you know how progressive you are when there's gay bullies? Very... <laughs> I got gay bullied. I was like, this is gay. They were like, thank you. You know, it was very... <laughs> we had all, we had black bullies. We had gay bullies. We had Korean bullies. We had white bullies still. That never went away. And the teachers, you know, were the ones, we would beat them up. It was fucking nuts. <laughs> Art school was bad. I, did I go to prison? What the fuck? Or, I'm just, I'm just making up shit. <laughs> I completely, I've talked about semen for too long. And I lost track. Um, what else? Did I, I had a couple other things I wanted. To, oh yeah, you ever, uh, you ever been like, you ever been watching TV, right? And uh, somebody says uh, on TV, they're like, follow your dreams, because all of my dreams came true. You know, all your dreams will come true. You ever see that on TV? Yeah. Uh, if that's the case, then why are there still so many fucking baristas? That's why you're here. You know? <laughs> right? I don't know, man. There's a lot of baristas, and none of them are achieving their art school dreams. That's all I'm trying to say. Why am I going so hard on art school tonight? Um, also, uh, Anyone in here a Zoomies manager? Anyone in here a manager at Zoomies? Hey, I want to know something. If you're a manager at Zoomies, do you fucking hate yourself? Uh, <laughs> because you should, you spineless, stupid coward. Oh uh, my <laughs> God. No, I fucking hate Zoomies managers because they're like, they're like, yeah, man, I'm gonna work in a kind of half clothing store, half skate shop, and it's gonna be like a cool job. But then, like, at this cool job, you still bust people for shoplifting. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Is your, that's not cool at all if you have to be all like, all right, get the sign right here. It says that you're a little dirty thief, because I know I am. <laughs> I mean, I like stealing, all right? I'm, I'm going to defend stealing, all right? We all stole during the pandemic, all right? I, I like any reason that people get together and loot. I don't care. I was there, I was the only guy at January 6th, like, taking a TV, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no one else was looking. <laughs> Everybody's riding at the Capitol, and I'm just like, it's... <laughs> get into a van. That's funny to me. <laughs> but, uh, let's walk around the stage a little bit, get to know the place. Um, I've been thinking about, uh, oh yeah, do you guys have empathy? Do you guys in here, do you guys have empathy? Yeah. I know I have empathy, I know I have too much empathy because I just feel, I feel overcome with sorrow every time I see a Walmart greeter. Don't you? Don't you? Isn't that like an evil job to give to somebody being a Walmart greeter to be all like, yeah, we're just going to have sick people stand here and scare children all day. Like, that's a really <laughs> evil fucking job. <laughs> 
everybody who's a Walmart greeter should be on disability. Instead, it's just a lady with her IV bag because she's actually dying of cancer. <laughs> and she says, welcome to Walmart, let me say. Oh, did you buy all your items today? She's doing that when she should be at home dying alone, you know? That's a fucking evil <laughs> thing to do, man. Just a guy in crutches with a helmet on and he's just like, uh, welcome to Walmart. And you walk past him like, oh, I'm just trying to get some bread. <laughs> <laughs> do you think when a, I feel like homeless people don't go to Walmart because they're going into a place that, where they feel bad for them, you know? <laughs> the revolving door of being a Walmart greeter and being homeless is just, it's, it's insane, I bet. I bet you a guy could be a, a legless Walmart greeter, lose his job, wait six months, come back, and they're like, he just says he has a different disability. They're like, aren't you Frank? He's like, no, no, no. Frank I only had two legs. I have no arms and legs. Or, <laughs> I don't know, that's fucking fucked up, man. I don't know, the only, <laughs> when I look at, you should, people who are Walmart breeders should need government assistance. They need help. They shouldn't be at a fucking job, man. We should be looking out for them. So, the fact that they're there either means that God has a sick sense of humor, or karma really is a bitch and they've committed war crimes in another life. That's the only reason they can possibly be there, is because God, when you were, you used to be Joseph Stalin, fuck you, you know, and like, it's evil, I don't know, Walmart's evil. The only, the only ethical disability you can have working at Walmart as a greeter is people with Down syndrome. That's the only people that it's because Down syndrome is the only disability that the disability is that you're happy. <laughs> because who doesn't like seeing a Down syndrome guy greeting them? Like so that's the that's the friendliest people on earth. It's just right. Am I wrong? Oh, I guess I'm alone here saying <laughs> I love Down syndrome people. Wow, weird crowd. We hate Down syndrome people and we don't like them saying hi to us. Yeah, they get a little excited, you know, they're humping you. Yeah, it's like. But that just means he's really happy to see you. That's a good greeting. Your dog doesn't do the same thing? Alright, that's too close. Alright, good night. <laughs>